Greetings, Sea LARPers. Today I'd like to, uh, to talk to you a little bit about the coin and um, ore system uh, that we're going to be using in 2017. It's pretty much like it was in... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say 2018. It's pretty much like it was in 2017, last season. Um, but I just want to run through it, make it um, real easy to remember for you uh, and for myself, because these things are easy to forget. So I guess I'm, I'm going to start with coins um, and how much they're worth in comparison to, the, to each other. So here I have copper coins um, and again uh, these are um, some nice metal uh, discs that I found um, with a friend at a metal yard and they're really cheap and I found a whole bunch of them. So it was a real gift from God, blessing. Because um, if I would have, if I had, had uh, tried to buy a bunch of metal coins um, elsewhere, it would have cost a ton of money. So this was a real blessing. So anyway, uh, copper coins. Um, these are basically the equivalent of one dollar in the sea larp economy uh, in the world that we're um, gaming in. So these are like one dollar. Um, next, have silver. These are about the equivalent of uh, $10 in uh, sea larp economy. And um, one silver is worth 10 copper. And one copper is worth a tenth, I'm sorry, 10 copper is worth a tenth of a silver coin, obviously. And last but not least, certainly not least, we have gold, which is um, equivalent to about $100 in the CLARP economy system. So one gold coin is worth 100 copper coins and 10 silver coins. Now let me see. Um, now on to ore. Actually, before I do, um, I'll say, you know, give some examples of, um, how much things might be priced. So say a sword might be two gold or might be worth 200 copper or 20 silver, uh, depending on how you look at it. It's like $200 which is actually pretty cheap considering how much it would have uh, been worth um, historically. Um, but well, we kind of have to keep things um, in a, a feasible level of attainment, if that makes any sense. Um, a meal might be five copper, um, a potion 10 or 15, um, copper depending on how potent it is if if it's some illegal um poison or something you might might charge more than a sword but just depends on uh, supply and demand and and uh, stuff like that um let me see so um hiring a mercenary you might pay them um one silver or 50 copper or something like that um or half of a gold coin um so those are just some ideas um, to get stimulated, some thinking of how much uh, your coin is worth and what's a realistic uh, way to, um, to charge uh, and price things. So now on to ore. And here we have the treasure chest of ore. So here we have silver coins. Uh, I'm sorry, silver bits of ore. And these are... You can tell that they have uh, numbers written in Sharpie on them, and that's true of all of the ore. And uh, these are just rocks that have been spray painted, and there are four different uh, primary um, colors of rocks that you'll find spray painted. There's silver, there's copper, there's gold, and there's iron, which is basically black. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's just what we use. So, for um, silver, copper, and gold, 
Basically, the reason you would want to mine these is because they can be converted into coin. Now, you may be wondering about the numbers. Basically, the number on the piece of ore, say this piece of silver, that tells you how many coins it's worth. Um, so this is silver ore, has a four on it. It's worth four silver coins, um, which is the equivalent of 40 copper coins. Um, yeah, and um, you'll notice, see if I can find one that's easily visible from here. Okay, this is also four, so this is worth four copper, or four tenths of a silver coin. Here we have the gold, basically the same idea. Um, this has a... Uh, I can't see... I'm going to assume it's a three. <laughs> um, so this is worth three gold coins or 300 copper coins, or um, 30 um, b -b 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 silver coins. So that's how it works for these. And just to make it really simple, no matter how big the piece of ore is, or how much it's worth in coin or whatever, it just takes two minutes to mine. So you just sit there at the mining site with your pick or whatever, and you just hammer at it for two minutes. And um, yep, that's how it works. Iron um, is not used for currency, but it's used for in the blacksmithing and armor smithing professions, and also by engineers and uh, um, might be used in some other situations. Um, basically, um, these also take two minutes to excavate, and the way it works, the number on it, this is a, an upside down five. Um, you'll, this tells you how many mats of ore it is worth. And so if you need to make a helmet that requires five mats of iron, this is what you would need. If you want to make a van brace that requires four mats of iron, um, you could just take this and just remember that there's one mat left. Because... Um, because I wanted there to be a, a difference in the sizes uh, for realism, um, um, you'll have to keep track a little bit of how much you've used up um, in case you have more ore than you need for a given project. But that shouldn't be too complicated if you have a piece of paper and pencil. Right, so... Um, different ways that you can do mining. Uh, last year, in our basement, we put up some tarps against the walls, and we it, it just kind of created some creases um, in, in the tarps, and so we um, just stuck the ore inside there, and that was a nice, cheap um, way to pull off that effect. And since it was dark inside, it, it still had kind of a cave atmosphere. And it was cool with the, the luminaries and the glow-in-the-dark spiders and, and stuff and cave noises. Um, so, um, that would be a cool thing if you're uh, running a LARP and you want to have a cave or something. Um, that was a neat idea. Though I would advise, be careful of mold. We kept our tarps up a long time and um, the basement didn't have any doors, so uh, the humidity probably maybe ruined some things. Uh, there wasn't much in there that was um, worth ruining, um, so it wasn't a big issue, but uh, just take that into consideration. Another thing you could use for a mine, um, just find a rock ledge that has a bunch of, you know, clefts in it, um, or that's kind of layered and just stick the ore uh, in between uh, the, the jagged pieces of the rock and players can just pick those out. And of course for that you'll want to be careful of snakes or spiders or something in the rocks, but um, if you're using a tool that shouldn't be a problem. Um, of course, if you want to have the enclosed feel, um, putting up tarps in your basement is a good idea. But you might be able to do that in another way too. Of course, um, the best option is to actually have a cave on your property, um, which we don't, but if you, if you do, then that's awesome, and uh, if you can use that, then that's great. Um, 
Let's see, I believe that is it regarding ore and coins and um, different economy stuff. I um, hope this has been helpful, it helped me solidify in my mind uh, the way things work, and I hope it's done the same for you. Anyway, God bless, and have a great day.